Hi and welcome. I want to update this course and uh, the way that I want to update it is by creating a simple web page that will utilize some CSS. Okay, so if you've been watching this HTML course, you've watched the entire thing, you'll realize that I didn't do much on CSS and that is why I want to create a simple web page that will enable you to learn something about CSS. So if you look over here, you'll see that I have I have this code and of course you'll receive all these files. So if you go to the same to the same location in which the other one was uploaded, you'll find this file and you'll be able to download it and use it to follow along with me. Now this is just a simple page that has the HTML that we're going to start with. So of course you know how you know all about this HTML header. Then I've also added this, then there's this, then there's this meta. This is the one that enables responsive responsiveness. If you want to write, if you want to use media queries, you need to add this on your web page. Media queries are a way to make your web page responsive. And then there we have the title and then we have the link to the style.css. I haven't created this yet. I will create this. And then we have a link to a favicon. So I have a favicon here. So if I open this in the browser, you'll see that we have our favicon there. So you can just create a small image, PNG image, and then put it anywhere and link to it here. So in the body, we have all these different elements, okay? Now, when I was doing the HTML tutorial, I mostly used divs. Divs, as I said, is a way to separate content and then you use the divs to style them. So if you put a class inside of a div, you'll be able to style whatever is inside of this div using the class or the ID that you define for this class. In HTML5, there's something we call semantic HTML. So semantic HTML, these are things that are descriptive. So like something like header, you see a header is very descriptive. If someone sees this, they just know that this is the heading, the header part of the body. This is where you'll have things like the navigation. You can even have things like the header image. So we are going to have something similar to that. And then we'll have something called section. So a section is somewhat like div, but it is descriptive it somewhat describes related items. So you can also use it the same way as a div. And then we also have a footer. So the footer, these are elements that you can put in your footer of, in the footer of your page. So in semantic HTML, there are different HTML tags that you can use different HTML blocks. For example, a nav is very descriptive. You just know that this is a navigation. The other tags that we may have that may fall under this category of semantic HTML, these are things like main. So the main, of course, if you put this in a page, it will be like the main content of the page. And then you can have an aside. An aside will be things like on a sidebar. If you've seen most websites, they usually have a sidebar. So things on the sidebar, you can put in the aside. And then the main content of the page, the uh, maybe it's a blog post, the blog content and anything else in there, images, comments and everything, you can put that in a main, in the main section and then an article. This can be uh, articles if you have posts, you can put posts in here or if you have lists of certain things in an aside area, you can put them inside of an article and the footer, as the name suggests, this is for elements in the footer. And then for header, these are elements in the header, such as the navigation. And then the nav, this describes the navigation elements. So in the next video, let's get started in creating a simple web page. And just a word of caution, I haven't really prepared any code for this. So we are going to do it step by step. And you'll see me make errors here and there. And that's normal. So 
I will see you in the next video when we continue from here. And if you haven't watched the videos before this, make sure you watch all the other videos so that you can understand HTML because this is not going to be as basic as the things we've covered throughout the course. Okay? See you in the next video.